So now that we're in Excel, we're going to go ahead and film or go ahead and look at all the different features of it um, that we know and get kind of acquainted with how it works. So first thing I want to point out is in the bottom right down here, just like in Word, we've got the zoom settings and um, I'm going to zoom in on mine so you can see it pretty clearly. Um, and that's just why it's getting bigger is because I'm zooming in. Remember, you can hold control and you can scroll on your scroll wheel of your mouse as well to be able to zoom in and out just like you can on Word. Um, so the first thing I want to do is I want to just put our first and last name in here. Just see what it's like to type stuff in here um, in that first cell. So when I talk about cells and where we're at, um, I'm always going to talk about the column that you're in and the row that you're in. So right now I'm in cell A1, column A, row 1, and I'm typing. And you can see that before I click anywhere, before I hit enter, before I do anything, I am still typing inside this cell. And you can see a lot of the features up in the ribbon have grayed out. The reason that is is because when you put content into a cell, it works differently than when you're just formatting the cell or adding features. So when we're putting content in here, we are in one mode, and then when we're just working with the cells we have selected to format them and make them look differently, we're in a different mode. So there's two modes to Excel, um, and you can see that I'm inside the cell right now because my cursor is like blinking inside of there, and the other piece is right below our ribbon now, we've got this new white bar right here that has... Um, um, it's got a name box saying what cell I'm in. You can see I'm in cell A1. And then it's got this bar with the white um, where you can see your name has also probably appeared up there. But it's got, when I'm inside the cell and I'm typing, it's got an X for cancel and a check mark for enter. And then it has a little FX button for inserting a function. The reason that the X and the check mark pop up is because they're wanting to know if you want to keep the changes that you made inside this cell or, or reject them. Because sometimes people start typing in a cell and they don't mean to. So you're either keeping or rejecting changes. And you can do that a couple different ways. I can click the check mark and you can see that instantly everything on the ribbon becomes available again. I no longer have my cursor blinking and I'm just working with data, right? If I go over to cell B1 here, so we've accepted it, I can then type like my middle name, for instance, and you can see the second I start typing, again, everything grays out and the check mark and X come back up. If I hit cancel, you'll see that it will cancel it and take everything back out, um, taking you back to what it was previously. Because when I click on a cell, um, I can actually make changes. So I can go back to cell A1 and if I begin typing over this, like I haven't double clicked, I haven't done anything, I've just clicked on the cell and I begin typing, you can see it's immediately going to re remove everything that was in the cell and replace it. Maybe I don't want that. Maybe I'm like, oh man, I accidentally clicked on that cell. So I can hit the cancel button and it'll bring back my name. So this time around, I'm going to go back to B1 and I'm going to type my middle name again. Instead of hitting the check mark to accept the information, you can also use keyboard shortcuts because we've talked a lot about how keyboard shortcuts are super helpful for you. So you can hit enter to go down um, and accept information to a cell. And so I want to kind of take a, take a little quick, I'm going to move down with my arrow key a little bit here. And I'm just going to type my middle name again. And this time what I want to show you is that not only can you hit enter to go down and accept information in the cell, but you can go up, right, and left. So thinking about our keyboard shortcuts that we already know, how would I pop to the right and accept information in the cell at the same time? Tab, just like we do with our lists, just like we do with our tables in Word, the keyboard shortcut is the same to pop to the right. I can hit tab and it accepts it, right? This time I'm gonna go ahead and double click on the cell and you'll see it will get me back into the content selection. And so I can add more stuff. And this time I wanna move up and accept the information of the cell. So we talked about how the opposite of tab is shift tab. So the opposite of enter is shift enter. So if I hold shift and I hit enter, it'll pop me up. If I double click on the cell again, if I hold shift and I hit tab, it will pop me to the left. So what's important is when you're inside of this cell, there's five acceptable ways to be able to accept information and get out of the content creation. You can hit the check mark, enter, shift tab, shift enter, or tab. And the reason those five are acceptable and clicking out of the cell is not, like right now I'm clicked in here, I can click out of the cell and it accepts it is because when we get to making functions and creating equations, we're not going to be able to click out of the cell. We can't either, use, we also can't use our arrow keys because like right now, um, sometimes your arrow keys will let you get out of there, but we can't click out of it because I can show you that when I create an equation, because equations are gonna begin with an equal sign, if I go to click out of the cell to accept it, it's gonna actually select the cell. So we don't wanna be using our mouse to accept information. We wanna be using the check mark 
enter, shift enter, tab, or shift tab to be able to accept information. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel this. And then what I'd like you to do is take this name right here and I'd like you to delete it, like just remove it. All right, I'm gonna hit delete on my keyboard. I would suggest using delete instead of backspace. Backspace puts you inside the cell, right? And now you're typing. However, delete just deletes the information and keeps you active so you can do other things. Okay, so our name has currently taken over this space and you can see that our middle name is now covering probably up your, uh, probably, it's probably covering up portions of your last name. So I wanna talk about in the next video, like how can we make it so we can fit the information that we want and what happened to the end of our last name?